Welcome to the video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. We have a new build of Windows 10 for mobile to look at today. Not a lot of changes. There was a lot of changes in the previous video, which you can see on our YouTube channel, but not a lot of changes in this one. We've got uh, this is build 14327 for, for Windows Insider on the fast ring. Eagle Eye viewers will notice I am no longer using my 950 to test this. After over the last build, I had a number of issues with it. Um, I couldn't share photos, and it was getting very hot. The uh, IR sensor, the Windows Hello sensor up here was coming on all the time and draining the battery. I had a lot of issues, so I rolled that back. So my 950 now is running on the preview ring, and this is uh, my older 1520 that's now running the um, Redstone builds. So what's changing this? Well, there's not a lot of changes. There's one new thing, which is... Microsoft call messaging everywhere. This is where you can send a message from a Windows tablet and it'll go via your phone. So let me just show you the, the setting for this first. I'll show you this on my PC. So here in the, in the settings for the messaging app, there is an option to sync messages through Windows Phone, which I've enabled that. And now, I'm going to send a text message to myself, which should fail because you can't send a text message itself, but it will show us how this is a, it's going to send it through here, like that. And that has now gone, sent on Windows Phone. And back over here, you can see on the messenger that it's unable to send. That's because I sent it from here and it would have gone had I not tried to send itself. So I sent this to a real person, that will work fine. Um, but I don't want it to do that for the testing, but it's a good way of showing the, how it's working. Alternatively, what I can do as well, or I should be able to do, is in messaging, I can uh, send a text message, which isn't able to send, and that should then appear on here, which it's not done probably because I'm doing a test I should perhaps try a real person but the kind of thing you'll see is text messages up here on the tablet or on your Windows device so you when you receive a text on here it should push that to the to the tablet and I've seen a few people saying this hasn't worked uh, with the current bills maybe there's a need to be an update for the messaging app but it's working from Windows via the phone um, it, and it should work the other way, so when you receive a message here, it pushes it to the phone, and I think that's that's to be nice if to, to see that. So I'll keep testing that, but I think that there is an issue with that currently on the bills. So that's texting, messaging everywhere, I think is a nice idea uh, when it's all up and running. It's told me that I wasn't able to send that hello one. So apart from that, I'll show you the setting for that as well. Um, there's the option there, send text on all my Windows devices on, so if I turn this off it won't work with it on, it should work. Um, so it should push that f to all Windows devices, so that would be pretty cool. Uh, other than that, like I said, there, there is more languages for Cortana, um, which is good. The list of issues though is still a problem, uh, I know Tweetium doesn't work. But uh, what has been fixed is sharing of pictures. See, it just crashes like that. Previously, you couldn't share pictures with Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Sometimes Facebook would work, but uh, I could, most of the stuff didn't work. They say that's been fixed. Um, and also, the unlocking and locking has been fixed as well. They fixed an issue with some apps not lo loading, which is good, so like uh, WeChat and Facebook Messenger. And... Um, they fixed an issue, tethering other Bluetooth wouldn't wouldn't work. Um, I didn't have a problem with that last week, actually. But uh, anyway, they fixed that. Actually, I know why, because I was using Wi-Fi, of course. Um, so no issues with this build. Still there's issues with the camera app crashing the gallery, although that seems to be working on there, maybe. Uh, there's a, uh, this issue with apps you see there, you've got BBC iPlayer, BBC iPlayer, one is pending, one is new, and that's because the store thinks there's all these pending apps when, in fact, there isn't. Let's go and have a look. See, all these are saying in the queue, but these are all up to date. There's nothing to download. You can't download those. Um, 
so there's an issue with that so that's what's caused that pending issue um, the, they're investigating issues that can cause mobile data to stop working but shows us connected and the glance screen there's some issues with the glance screen what well, first of all I found that um, there's two glance screens and the new one doesn't have a power on mode so where it stays on when you're on the power so if you're on a dock then that's a bit of a pain the workaround is to use the old one and not touch the new one and then you get this extra option there um, so well the option's not there actually anymore but I think it works so if you apply power then the glance screen will stay on um, that looks like it's using the new one to me let's have a look so that's the old icon and if we go to the new one yeah the new one is different so I think someone's told me on Twitter if you stick with the old one and don't touch the new one then you'll get the extra the glance option which uh, I, I have it on my bedside table on the Qi charger so I'll use that glance screen for, for that so aside from that those are the main issues everything else seems to be working okay on it uh, like I said I, on my 950 I put this back on the uh, release preview ring because of the issues last week you can see the release notes for the full full details on that but anyway it's looking quite good um, I'm, I don't think I'll put it back on my 950 just yet I might wait for a couple more builds maybe a slow ring build to, to try out the messaging features but thanks for watching this video if you go on our YouTube channel you can see last week's video which has all the details of the changes which were a lot in the last one and you go right back to the very early builds thanks for watching